Yeah, but like it could be anywhere, just like in you know, I guess New England, in the New England area. People that New England, um, out. like right, like I think it would be dope. Everybody's been bringing it up that that dude, um, Jordan Lucas, mm. that'd be dope. Okay. That dude's talented. You know what I'm saying? Um, everybody in Prague. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Artists, like, producers, I, both. Everybody. Everybody, yeah. I feel you know that. what I'm saying? It's really weird too how like when you look at a place like Chicago, they have a particular sound that kind of blew them up. You know what I mean? That, yeah. that drill sound. I feel like Prov doesn't have a sound yet. They have a lot of artists that have their own dope sound. It's like when it's I unique. when I have artists on the show all the time, they're always so unique in their own way. Whether they're more like gangster rap, whether they're more like on you know the Young Thug time, or whether they're just you know just trying to make music that makes good vibes. Like everybody's on a completely different scale. I think that's something that is, is really really cool on Prov. And like I see you. Um, like when I listen to you, I just hear like hard bars and, and realness, you know what I mean? And that's something that I think I haven't had on the show yet, to be completely honest. Word. Like, you know, and so I'm really glad that you guys are here. Thank you. Word. Word. Yo, thank you, man. Definitely. Of course. So you said you were like, you know, you want to add more songs to the track. Um, when you're in that booth, when you're in that studio, what what's, what's the process? Like, do you, do you, get, do you get like a well, little bit and yeah, what's like, the kick everybody like, out, too? or do you just like get in your zone, or do you have like a party and you like it's it, the the process like this all right so this this is the writing process which yeah. can happen anywhere mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying i could be in the car with just one chilling and i'll come up with some something in my mind right there and i'll write it down that's where you know that's the writing process or the sometimes producers will send me beats and i'll just i'll you know i'll, I'll listen to them by what i'm gonna write to them you know like when i'm by myself because that's when i'm like most creative too but okay. at the same time like there's times when I walk in the studio and it's just me and Clockwork and Clockwork will be like, yo, I made this new beat today, but I don't really like it. I'll be like, well, just play it. I always tell him play it because... Yeah, no, yeah. I might like it, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, and like that's what's been happening recently with like this new tape of work. And mm. Like I'll just go to the studio and then we'll, he'll sit there, he'll show me something and then I'll literally come up with it right then and there and like just record you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Just, just get in the booth and record as we go. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, no. And then, like, there's the mastering process as well, where we'll go to the boiler room and lay down everything that we created. You know what I'm saying? We go to the boiler room very soon. Got you know it. what I'm saying? Got some, sometimes I'll sit there and write, but, like, it's after we already, like, chopped them. Finished the studio. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Of course. Oh, no, I feel that. We're actually going to the studio this Thursday. So, so you would say most of your creative processes, um, 